the code of fit today we're back on another interesting edition here today we're going to be talking about my car stalls as soon as i put on the ac why must your car stall when you put on your ac there should be no reason why your car should stall on you when you put on the ac now before we go further if you're coming to my channel for the first time subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification I know you're wondering, what is this? Well, this is a solenoid control valve for most variable displacement compressor. For specifically for Denso, that's the one, the compressor I put it out for, of. So this is used to control the amount of refrigerant flowing in that a compressor has to pump. So if this guy goes bad, well, it's not going to make your car AC system to stall. But the entire assembly that is actually controlling if they go bad, you can, the first thing you can look out for when you have a car that stalls when you turn on the AC system is... A likely a bad AC compressor. I've seen this a lot. I've experienced this on my own car. And that is especially with a complete variable displacement compressor like this compressor here that doesn't have a detachable clutch that the clutch runs steady with the engine. When you start up the engine right now the clutch is going to be constantly running. But the other one you need a magnetic uh, system to actually attach it. So this one doesn't have any magnetic uh, coil so it cannot be the energized or energized. Well, this one here is constantly energized by the drive belt. So the first thing you want to look out for is the compressor. And if you want to diagnose it, first of all, remove the drive belt and see if you can roll the compressor with your hand. If it is stiff, then that lies your problem. You replace it with another one and that problem should be gone. The next reason why your car will shut off when you turn on the AC system is unrelearned throttle body or yeah an unreliant throttle body so let's say that you have your car running and uh, you're noticing the rpm somewhere around 400 rpms at 400 rpms if you turn on the ac system being your car have equipped with variable displacement compressor or fixed displacement compressor the car is going to stop why because that rpms that range at which the car is running idling is too poor to be able to withstand the load effect of the ac system which you just caught up by on in the AC of your car. So be sure to relearn the idle and make sure that it's staying between 600, 700 or 800. But if it's anything below that, then your car will likely stall when you on the AC system. The load detection implausible. I don't know if most of you guys have been seeing this before, but if you have not seen or heard that kind of language before, that language, then welcome. When you have some sort of load detection implausible, it's going to be giving you any code related to a bad map sensor. So when the map sensor gets bad, you're going to be having a fluctuating idle. So under that condition of a fluctuating idle, if you turn on the AC system, the car will likely stall or shut off entirely. So be sure to know that the wiring harness is okay and the map sensor, you're not getting any code related to bad map sensor in your car, which is going to lead to instability of your idle. And at the cost of instability, if you on on your AC system, then it's going to shut off. The next reason why your car stalls when you put on your AC system is too much refrigerant inside your Too AC much refrigerant system. inside the AC circuit. Let's say your car is actually designed to take up to 700 grams of refrigerant and you decided to pop a whole lot of twice as you're supposed to need into the system. Well, you're building, you're multiplying the entire load of the AC system by two. And so this should be able to adversely increase or double the load is going to be adding on the AC system by two. So if the idle is supposed to be at 600 and you turn on the AC system, it will likely drag the engine down and shut it off. In this situation we're talking about here, it doesn't only have potential of shutting down your car, it also has this tendency of wrecking a havoc on your AC compressor. The last cause of, which is likely the cause why you turn on your AC system and it stalls right up is a bad throttle body. The throttle body is not just only controlling the amount of air fuel ratio going into your car system the throttle body also governs the amount of load that is being added to your car so be sure to check your throttle body if you if you own on your ac system and it's shut off right away you could be having a bad throttle body so get another one into place and calibrate it right if it is vac like this one here you need to perform a basic settings after the basic settings, make sure that the, the is functioning as intended and go ahead and try it again and you are on your way resolving this problem of the car stalling when you're on the AC immediately by yourself. So with my vast knowledge and vast experience which I've acquired in AC system, I'm not certain that it's going to go above this range. So now that you know how to fix a car that starts 
And if you turn on your AC to stall, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys later.